Hey guys, Mike here from TempereSoft.com. This is the Rush 24 backpack from 511 Tactical. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, 511 Rush 24 backpack. Great backpack, I've had this for about five or six years myself. Um, figured you guys would probably benefit from a little review of it because uh, as I said, it is a great backpack. Um, I've used this for everything, uh, work-wise and airsoft. Um, surveillance work, carrying ammo to range uh, as hand luggage, I've taken it on ships. Uh, um, I've used it as a med bag, a grab bag, um, you know, out tabbing with the, the wife and dog, with, you know, fill it up with a picnic and that sort of thing. And, you know, it's a brilliant bag, really, really well made. And uh, as I said, I've had it five, five or six years i'm not entirely sure how long i've had it but it's about that time and um it's it's held up really well um construction wise it's 1050d so it's really strong and it's uh in terms of waterproofness it's uh definitely shower proof submerging it in water obviously it's gonna gonna fill up with water but uh, mainly because it's got drainage holes in the bottom but in terms of keeping your gear wet during uh during sort of showers and things like that it uh it does its job um for waterproofing against heavy, heavy downpours, obviously you're gonna, you should really be using dry bags if you anticipate that sort of rain. Um, but yeah, so, um, general showers and things like that out and about, it's, uh, it's pretty good. YKK self-repair and zippers. Um, five, five odd years that I've had this, I've not had a, one of the zippers fail. Um, I use this pretty much every day as well in uh, everyday life for me. So um, yeah, they're obviously doing their job. Um, as advertised, I assume, um, as I've never had a problem with the zip. So, um, in terms of actual construction, it's 35 litre capacity. It's called the 24 because it's supposed to be able to sustain you over 24 hours um, for everything you need. Um, but yeah, 35 litres overall capacity. It's got these big double zips that open it out. Inside the back here on the uh, the back panel side, you've got a big mesh pocket at the top here, and you've also got a um, sort of draw cord pocket at the bottom here. Um, on the front panel side, again, you've got three pockets, one zip pocket at the bottom, zip pocket mesh at the top, and then a mesh zip pocket again, which can actually be opened from the top and bottom. Uh, you've got a, two, two zippers on that one. Um, Again, all very well made. No signs of uh, wear or anything on those, really. Um, front of the pack, you've got these sort of butterfly pouches. They're both exactly the same. You've got mesh zipper and then a felt line pocket in there for your... Um, when I got this pack, it came with a, a little card, as most products do, and it says, you know, put in mobile phones or PDAs or whatever in there. Another big pocket on the front, again, double zipped open in from the top and you've got on the front panel here you've got two uh, large deep pockets you can get magazines in there you've also got on the pack side uh, two actual velcro retention strapped mag magazine pockets uh, pen pockets another large pocket and another large zippered pocket um, that you can close you've also got a key retention chap tab on there as well and again you can stick stuff inside that main pouch in there as well to uh to really sort of cram it in as you can see on the front it's full of molly molly loops all the way up and on the top pouches here you've got big square velcro patch there so you can uh stick a cool sign blood group whatever you know whatever your like you know morale patch or whatever you want on there name tape velcro tab there and again on the sides, molly, top to bottom, both sides. Sides, you've also got these large pockets here, which run, run from sort of almost top to bottom. And they've also got uh, another little pocket, it's hard to show you because it's only small, but like a little key pocket sort of thing in their sides as well. It's the same on both sides. Um, again, you've got that big pocket either side. As I said, molly, top to bottom. Top, you've got this big carrying handle. It's nice and thick, uh, nice and strong. And you've also got a, a felt lined uh, sunglass, sunglasses pocket there. The yoke on here, 511 packs. They run a, uh, what they call the yoke system. So 
this instead of it like a traditional backpack where this would be sitting really high up behind your neck um, you'd have this sort of like this so the pack would sit a bit lower down on your back gives you a bit more room if you're wearing a helmet to tilt your head back um, and it works really well nice and thick comfortable straps <coughs> excuse me molly uh molly straps on both sides so you can attach uh you can attach mobile you, you can get these mobile phone cases that go on there it also um allows you to move your chest strap to a different location to suit your body type um, comes with a chest strap obviously for those of you who don't know what these are for it's basically so that when you're wearing the pack the straps if you've got a lot of gear on the straps obviously can uh can slide off your shoulders and that's what those are for to stop stop the straps sliding off your shoulders and the pack falling to the floor main back panel nice and rigid it does come with a board in it you can remove the board if you want to or put a stiffer board in there um, four areas of padding with a sort of recessed area to allow for ventilation uh, ventilation wise the padding doesn't really allow that much ventilation same with any pack really to get proper ventilation on your back you need um, a pack with the mesh back where the actual main bulk of the pack is separate from your thing but it works well it's comfy i've never had any issues with it it's also got two leather pads here to um, aid in um, this the sort of prevention of uh, uh, friction wear basically uh, i don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but where i've worn this i've got sort of friction wear here and here um, but obviously this is sort of main point, so you're going to get that friction wear. Drainage hole for inside this back panel. And again on the bottom, drainage holes and two molly loops either side. So you can uh, attach whatever you want to on. Back panel here, big double zippered again. Um, and that allows for you to put a hydration bladder in there. There's a hole at the top so you can run the hydration bladder through into the main pack. And then you've got these two... Uh, Velcro covered uh, hydration tube holes here. So, works really well. On the side, you've got these compression straps as well. So, if you haven't got the pack completely full, you can uh, compress that down nicely. It's one either side. And again, they work really well. Price wise, you're looking at about 90 pound. I'll put a link in the description um, for where you can get these from. And as I said, these are a great, great pack. I've used them for pretty much everything that I've ever had to do. The reason I like it so much is because it's got all those pockets on it. I, I prefer to have everything separated into different compartments. I don't like the packs where you've just got one big compartment in the middle and you chuck everything in, you've got to rummage around for everything. This suits me perfectly for that purpose. It's great for airsoft as well. You can get ammo in the sides you know whatever i normally use this for uh, my team's ammo at the respawn um, and it's always worked well it's a great little pack as i said 90 pounds a bit on the pricey side for some of the other packs out there but as i said i've had this for five or six years and um i've never had a drama with it absolutely love it definitely recommend this product so guys thanks for watching the templarairsoft.com youtube channel to uh, subscribe hit the link below and to see the latest previous episode click the link to your right hand side as always play safe and thanks for watching